pleasant. Good morning to you from Channel 9 News. Good morning, I'm Ray Marlin, and it's the 19th day of May, a Tuesday morning, 1981. We have 54 degrees under partly cloudy skies at this early morning hour with relative humidity at 40%. Winds out of the north at 7 miles an hour and barometers holding steady at 30.03 inches of mercury. Our forecast indicates a partly cloudy and cool night tonight around the metropolitan area, the low around 50, with mostly cloudy weather indicated for Tuesday and Tuesday night. The high Tuesday, 65 to 70, and the overnight low Tuesday night in the 50s. Then clouding up again with the chance of showers on Wednesday and the high ranging 65 to 70. And at the top of the news at this hour, a Coast Guard cutter has towed a homemade sailboat with more than 90 Haitians aboard into New Smyrna Beach, Florida Monday night. A shrimp boat found the Haitian vessel adrift in the Gulf Stream earlier in the day. New York City Police Monday responded to a total of 55 bomb threats that forced thousands of workers to evacuate office buildings. Two bombs were found and safely removed from the Honduran consulate and the U.S. mission to the U.N. Police believe the bombs and threats were the work of a Puerto Rican terrorist group that claimed responsibility for three bombs planted at Kennedy Airport Saturday, one of which exploded and killed a young man. A newspaper report in Indianapolis Monday night said former Agriculture Secretary Earl Butts is expected to plead guilty Friday to a federal tax evasion charge. Reached in Fargo, North Dakota, Butts had no comment on the report, but the U.S. attorney for the area reached at home tonight confirmed that Butts will enter a guilty plea. The amount of money involved is not known. Pope John Paul II, marking his 61st birthday Monday, was moved from intensive care to a private room in a Rome hospital to continue recuperation from bullet wounds and surgery. Doctors say he still has a low fever. Italian voters ended two days of referendum balloting Monday, solidly defeating measures that would have overturned Italy's liberal abortion law, banned private gun ownership, and done away with special anti-terrorist po police powers. Special Representative and boy Philip Habib returned to Damascus for the third time in 11 days Monday for new talks with Syrian leaders in efforts to ease the missile crisis that could lead to an Israeli-Syrian war. British Prime Minister Thatcher fired her Navy minister Monday after she became angered over leaks to the news media that she was considering drastic defense spending cuts that could cripple the Royal Navy. President and Mrs. Reagan attended the Washington debut Monday night of their son Ron's Ballet Company and afterward, the president pronounced the performance of the Joffrey II Troop wonderful. The White House says Reagan will fly to his California ranch later this week after finishing talks with West German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt. He plans to return to Washington May 27th. Several major banks across the country raised their prime lending rates to one and a half, or that is one half percent, to 20 percent on Monday. Florida's Governor Bob Graham authorized a call-up of the National Guard Monday to battle wildfires that have charred 105,000 acres of the drought-stricken Big Cypress National Preserve. And famed author William Soroyan, winner of the 1940 Pulitzer Prize, died of cancer at his native Fresno, California home Monday at the age of 72. He died in his sleep one month after suffering a mild, mild stroke. Around New York, the FBI suspects a terrorist group that claimed responsibility for bombing at Kennedy Airport may have planted two other bombs discovered in New York embassies. State political leaders say that they may have to create a new regional tax to help the struggling Metropolitan Transit Authority. And the state correction officials have doubled the training period for prison guards following the murder of a female guard last week. A glance at sports in American League baseball play. The New York Yankees did it to Kansas City 2-1 to one, over in the National League all late games. Philadelphia 4, Los Angeles nothing, San Francisco 3, the New York Mets 1, and Montreal 3, San Diego 2. And of course the Indianapolis Motor Speedway officials say Jerry Sneva's pit crew cost him his spot in the Indy 500. Officials say Sneva's car was charged up with an illegal bolt placement on an engine valve. Our weather in review indicates a uh, partly cloudy and cool night around the metro area, low around 50, then mostly cloudy Tuesday and Tuesday night. The highs of Tuesday, uh, 65 to 70, with the overnight low Tuesday night in the 50s, then clouding up and a chance of showers for Wednesday. Presently, under partly cloudy skies, we were reading of 54 degrees in Manhattan. And that's Channel 9 News to now. I'm Ray Marlin. Have a nice night if you can.
o'clock in the morning, and we welcome you now to Nine All Night. And today our feature is Murder Mansion, an eerie tale of ghosts and vampires, and stars of Al Yagada and Evelyn Stewart. Thank you. 